Hey guys, it's David East, and in this part of the tutorial, we're going to focus on building out the left menu. So in the previous tutorial, we focused on building out the top menu. So in this tutorial, we're going to be building out this left menu. This left menu spans 100% of the page height, which can be a little tricky to get right, but we'll walk through it. So this left menu is comprised of items that will provide the user with navigation on using Mailer. As you can see, there is an active tab, which is this teal color. And there's also a notification on the message tab. So let's take some measurements here. So we can see that the menu is 185 pixels wide. So each navigation item is around 52 pixels in height. We also can see that each icon is around a 24 by 24 icon. And the font size for each item is 15 pixels. So down in our variables file, let's create a section for the left menu. And let's create a variable called left menu width and set it to 185 pixels. And then we'll set a variable for the item height, which is 52 pixels. So we'll call it left menu item height. And now we need to set the colors. So we need to set the primary background. So we'll set one called left menu BG, and that'll just be the primary background we've been using. And then we'll also set one for the selected state, which is the alternate teal color we have declared. And we already have the font size declared up above as left menu font size. So now let's create a less style sheet for our left menu. And we'll just call it left menu.less. So first things first, let's set the background. We have that as our variable as left menu BG. And let's set the width. And we're going to want to set the display to inline block. And now let's add this to our mailer manifest and let's run it in Chrome. So right now we don't see anything. And the reason why that is, is because we didn't give the left menu a height. So let's inspect the element. And as we can see right here, it's 185 by zero. So let's give it a bit of a height just to see that it's there. So when given a height of 100 pixels, we can see that it actually exists. But we don't want it to have a height of 100 pixels. We want it to span 100% of the height of the page. So you might think that we can just switch it from 100 pixels to 100%. But when we do that, it goes away. And the reason why that is, is because the positioning isn't set. It needs to know what to have 100% of. So if we provided a positioning of absolute, it'll know to have 100% of the page. So now as you can see, our left menu spans all the way to the bottom of the page. So let's add these styles back to our local version. So now that we have our left menu's height squared away, let's work on the list items inside. So inside of our left menu nav, we'll give it an unordered list and we'll call it left menu nav. So let's provide our first list item. And inside of the list item, we'll provide an anchor tag. And inside of this anchor tag, this is where we're going to provide the icon as well as the text. So the first icon, we'll use an i tag and we'll give it a class of FUI new. And below, we'll give it a span, and we'll give it a class of nav text, and we'll say compose. So let's go back to our left menu less sheet, and let's add the styles for these list items. So inside of left menu, we have left menu nav, and inside of left menu nav, we'll have a list item, as well as an anchor tag. Let's first start out by providing the color of these anchor tags, and the color is just white. And now we need to set the height which is just the 52 pixel variable we created left menu item height. And we're going to want to set the same thing for the line height. And then we're also going to want to make sure the display is block. And we'll make sure that the width spans 100%. So let's test this out in Chrome. So our list item is there, but we do have a bit of a padding issue. We need to provide some padding so it lines up with the mailer logo. So let's fix this in the browser. And instead of editing this in the browser like we've done before, let's use a special Chrome extension. And this extension is called Less CSS Creator. You can search for it in the Chrome Web Store and you'll be able to add it to your Chrome. Once you add it though, you have to close out of Chrome and reopen it to get the tab down in the dev tools. So let's inspect this element. And then right over here, we'll click on Less CSS Editor. And inside of here, we can write less that'll affect our page in the browser. So I pasted in the left menu nav that we're working on. So let's add a padding left of 25 pixels to the left menu nav. 
and once you apply a style, you need to click the preview button to apply the change. So now we need to set the font size for the icon. So since our icon is in an I tag, we could target it with an I and then set the font size to 24 pixels. However, if we want to be a bit more specific, we could provide an attribute selector. And the attribute we want to be selecting is class. And then what we want to be targeting is FUI. However, that's not going to work because we want to get any I tag that has a class that starts with FUI. To do that, we need to provide a caret in front of the equal sign. So if we hit preview, our styles stay the same, but this time we're a bit more specific. So now we'll select the text and that had a class of nav text and we're going to set its positioning to absolute. And then we're going to set its padding left to 22 pixels. So now let's copy these styles and add them back to our local copy. And let's work on adding the rest of the icons. So we'll copy this LI and this is the one for inbox. And then its icon is called FUI mail. And then we'll have the one for messages and its icon is called FUI chat. And this is the one for account. And that one's called FUI user. And the last one is for settings. And that one is FUI gear. And before we view it in Chrome, let's make sure that the padding left is added to the list. So for left menu nav, we'll say padding left is a variable called menus padding left. And now we'll view it in Chrome. And as you can see, it's what we expected. So now we need to work on the active state, which is just the teal background and the notification bubble that goes on the message tab. So in our left menu less sheet, let's add a style for the active tab. So syntactically, every time we have an anchor tag with a class of active, it'll have that teal background. So unless to declare multiple styles, we'll use the ampersand and we'll provide the dot active class and we'll set its background to left menu item selected. So let's go to the HTML and apply that style to a tab. So let's add a class of active to the inbox tab. So in Chrome, you can see that we have the background, but we have a bit of an issue. And that's because of the way we're adding the padding to the entire list instead of each item. So where the left menu nav is, we'll remove the padding left from here and we'll add it to the anchor tag. So now it looks the way we expected it to. So let's focus on creating the message notification. So in the message tab, let's add a div and let's give it a class of notification. And then we'll also give it a small tag and we'll put one in the middle. And let's view this in Chrome. So we can't see anything right now, but we can find it if we inspect the element. So right now we do have our div with a class of notification and let's write some less styles to style it as we go. So inside of our less CSS editor, let's create a class for notification. And let's start off by giving a background of that Clifford red. But since we don't have access to our variables here, we'll just paste in the hex, which is E74C3C. We'll set its display to inline block. And we'll give it a border radius of 50%. And we'll set its width to 18 pixels and its height to 18 pixels. And what this will do is it'll make it into a circle. So now when we hit preview, we can see that we have a circle, but our one is outside the circle. So let's nest our small tag inside of there. But before we do that, let's give it a font size of 12 pixels. And then we'll set the position inside the small tag to absolute. So now we can see that the one is inside the circle, but we need to get it into the center. So we'll set a left of six pixels and a top of negative one pixel. So our one went to the top left of our list. And to fix that, we need to set the position inside the notification to absolute. And now as you can see, our one is now centered inside our circle and our circle moved to the top of our list item. So now let's get our circle positioned over to the top right of our message icon. Let's first set the left property to zero. And as you can see, it moves all the way to the left of the list item. So if we set the left to 40 pixels and then the top to five pixels, when we apply the style, we can see that it moves to the top right of the compose item. And that's because the anchor tag instead of our list items do not have a position set to relative. So let's add that style. So let's go to the elements tag and we'll click on the anchor tag for compose. 
And as we can see in the styles, there's no position set. So let's change the positioning inside of the anchor tag to set to relative. And as soon as we set it to relative, we can see that our circle moves down to the position we want it to be in, which is the top right of our message icon. So what's really important to understand here is that if you have a parent whose position is set to relative, any child element inside that parent whose position is set to absolute will allow it to be positioned absolutely within that parent container. So now let's add these styles back to our local copy. So at the bottom of our left menu less sheet, we'll paste them in and we'll change the background from the hexadecimal color to our Clifford red variable. And then we'll go up to the anchor tag and we'll set its position to relative. And now we'll view it back in Chrome. And now we have completed our left menu. So, so far in this tutorial, we've set up our top menu as well as our left menu. In the next tutorial, we'll work on the first content section, which will be our sign up page. So just like always, if you have any questions or comments or want anything explained in more detail, just leave a comment.